Okay. We have a hodgepodge of mail call stuff and stuff that I picked up from a couple stores. What are we starting with? Riri Williams Iron Heart number 11. Uh, so this is the first full appearance of Demetrius Riri. Well, no, 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 no. You don't nickname a brother named Demetrius Riri. You nickname a brother named Demetrius Meech. <laughs> what, what what's going on <laughs> is the chick who wrote this story even black what, is, what? <laughs> but anyway uh so this is the first appearance of uh riri williams father and uh what did i want to say first full appearance i mean yeah first full appearance he apparently dies but he faked his death, joined the Ten Rings, and now he's a bad guy. All right, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, we found this for cover price. Uh, essentially, these uh, re re because I got a I got a discount, and uh, so pretty much I picked all these up for cover price. Uh, so what is this book going for? About twenty to twenty five dollars. Uh, Ironheart number ten. So this is the first cameo appearance of Demetrius. Re -re no, you nickname him Meech. But anyway, found that for eight dollars. Like I said, I wound up getting a discount. All right, what's next? Uh, so what is this book going for? Maybe I think this book is going for fifteen. I think this book is going for fifteen to twenty as well. Uh, Iron Heart number ten, first appearance of Eclipse. All right, it's all good. It's all good. I was honestly, I was really surprised to find these still in the uh, back issue bins. Very surprised because this was like just a couple of days ago. <laughs> uh, Iron Heart number six, featuring Miles Morales, and last, last but not least, in the Iron Heart saga. Ironheart number one, the Humberto Ramos variant. Okay, uh, what's the ratio on this? Uh, is it a one in ten? No, it's not a one in ten. Is it a one in five? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a uh, maybe it's one of those like open order cover price uh, variants. I don't know. I don't know. But I got it for eight dollars, so five dollars over. Or, I mean, three dollars over cover price. All right, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I don't know what this book is going for, but I found it for essentially eight dollars. Very excited to have found this. So we have Spider-Man 2099, number one, second print. So this is, uh, what is this, like a $50 book? I know there are there is a copy that, has, that did sell for $50. And there are copies on eBay right now for like, people want a lot for this book. You know what I'm saying? So... Found it for five dollars. All right, what's next? What's next? Whenever I see this book, I go ahead and pick it up if it's like under ten dollars. This is like a near mint minus copy. So we have Spider Spider Man twenty ninety nine number one newsstand. Spider Man twenty ninety nine number one newsstand. This was eight dollars. All right, okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right, what's next? <laughs> Uh, what's next? We've got Star Slayer number two and Star Slayer number three. Okay, so we have the first appearance and origin of the Rocketeer, plus we have the second appearance of the Rocketeer and first full appearance of the Rocketeer's girlfriend, Goyle friend. I didn't mean to say it like that. Okay, so uh, the price tag on this was ten dollars. Uh, my man at the counter, he run, who rung me up, he was like, "Man, that seems cheap for the first appearance of the Rocketeer." And I told him, "I'm like, look, man, that's expensive to me. This is taking everything in me. Like, it's, it's taking all my energy and life force to want to pay ten dollars." For Star Slayer number two. <laughs> I tell, I'm like, man, this is expensive to me. <laughs> it's, it might be cheap to you, but it's expensive to me. And uh, we found Star Slayer number three uh, for $6. All right, it's all good. It's all good. 
Uh, this was $6, and I'm like, all right, okay, whatever. Uh, Solo, A Star Wars Story, number one. First appearance of some, I think for mainly the first appearance of this character right here. I forget her name. Cora, Corey, I forget. And maybe some first appearances of, like, other characters. You know what I'm saying? Like, the movie, so I never saw the movie, but the movie was a major major league disappointment at the box office so why anybody would want the uh movie adaptation of a box office bomb uh, i don't know i really don't know but i guess because there are first appearances and maybe um maybe there are some writers out there that can do these characters justice i don't know i don't know i don't know, I don't know. but i picked it up anyway Ooh. This is what I'm really excited about. Very excited about this. Check this out. So we got Invincible Iron Man number 25. Uh, this is the photo variant uh, featuring Robert Downey Jr. And this book, I don't know. I think this book has had actually been a brisk seller over the months. You know what I'm saying? This book was like um like maybe a thirty dollar book over the past over the past couple of months and now um Robert Downey Jr. is gonna be doing a signing like a a I guess a, a virtual signing or something so, something to that effect so you like send in books to some some spot and he'll sign them for you, and um, they might send those. They might send it back to you, or they might send it to CGC. I don't know. I don't know. But he's doing. Uh, but Robert Downey Jr. is doing a signing. Uh, his signature is, is like seven hundred dollars a pop, and now photo variants are uh, in demand. <laughs> so I found this for five dollars. Got this book for five bucks. It's a um, nice near mint copy. I don't want to say it's a 9.8. I never want to say anything I have a 9.8, to be quite honest with you. I'll let other people say that for me. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, Invincible Iron Man number 25 photo variant. And on top of that, found another copy for 6 bucks. Very happy about that. And I think this one might be slightly nicer. So we got two copies of uh, Iron Man number uh 25 now this these this is from 2010 so this is around the t this is the time of iron man 2 but to me this is like the best of the best of the photo covers in my opinion in my opinion in my opinion in my, my maybe i'm just biased because i have the books <laughs> i have these so you know anyway uh speaking of iron man we've got uh iron man number 593 now this is a one in 50 variant uh, I guess you could say this is a Jack Kirby cover, and this is the uh, Marvel Legacy variant. I notice, I know that uh, there, there's one for Incredible Hulk, there's one for Doctor Strange, there's one for I believe Captain America, and there's one for Amazing Spider-Man, and they and they have like those. I think these were the art for this were T-shirt were um were the design were um were on t-shirts like back in the 60s or something something to that effect something to that effect and then they just put the art on the comic book now but uh for 15 dollars i'm like all right i'll pick it up and what more did i want to say about this this is a what more did i want to say about this uh this book really i don't think this book really goes for anything i know that there are copies available right now for like 70 but nobody's buying. But for $15, I'll go ahead and pick it up, especially for a 1 in 50 variant. All right, what's next? Black Pan Fur number 4. So this is the this is a I guess an early appearance of Sherry. All right, you know I haven't even looked at this book. I I want to open this book up like right now and try to find the Ah, uh, shoot. So, and I also found uh, Black Panther number three. Uh, let's see. Let's see what's doing. She's in here. Where she at? Uh, do, I, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to do this? No. No. 
point. No, no, I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> uh, no. But uh, we have some early appearances of Shuri in number three and number four. Suppose I don't know. I looked through this book. I didn't see shit, but whatever, 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 whatever. They were $3 a piece. Uh, found this for $6. Batman Adventures Annual number one. Batman Adventures Annual number one. Okay. What's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, I think we're rounding the bases. So here's some stuff that I picked up in the mail. Uh, ooh, very, 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 very excited about this. Very excited about this. Um, Spawn number one newsstand. Spawn number one newsstand. Uh, if anybody was paying attention back in 2012, I, uh, I talked about Spawn newsstands. And, uh, immediately thereafter, uh, they started blowing up. Not, not like crazy crazy like because you could find a spawn newsstand for essentially cover price back in 2012 and then i think they rose up to like maybe 10 to 15 dollars you know what i'm saying but uh but uh now wow spawn newsstand number ones are probably what like hundred dollar books at least at least and if you have a nice really high grade one i'm talking maybe two hundred dollars if you're lucky but um what did i want to say found this for i got this for fifty dollars shipped uh now i'm cheap and uh paying fifty dollars ship for a spawn newsstand never thought i'd see the day but uh why not why not why not why not <laughs> so spawn number one newsstand wow okay all right we got ourselves a newsy uh what's next what's next i don't know i'm not really into x-files comics but this was cheap enough uh i basically got this for cover price plus like i don't know four dollars shipping so the x-files number three uh this is the uh retail incentive uh it has a you know kind of nice nice vintage um uh Damn it. What did I want to say? What did I want to say? What did I want to say? Uh, pre-production art um, cover and, uh, yeah, vintage pre-production art cover. All right. All right. Uh, we'll go with that term. How about that? But uh, I think this book can go for 50 You know what I mean? And the cover is interesting enough. So it's like, all right, all right, I'll pick it up. Why not? Why not? All right. So, yeah, X-Files number three. Retail incentive variant. Okay, all right, all right. What's next? What's next? Star Wars number one. Found Star Wars number one. Got this for, I, I want to say $50 shipped. Uh, it's a VG copy. I think it's, yeah, it's, I think it's an outright VG copy. I, it can stand to press. It might, it might can be pressed out to say a fine you know what I'm saying? So it's like a little bit of warping right there. But uh, I don't know. I think I think we can press this out to something a little bit better. So, but we got this for $50 shipped. Uh, now here's a book I really like. Like very, 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 very much. So we have Ultimate Comics. The Ultimates number four. I've talked about this book plenty of times so um I, I don't want to say there's any first appearances in here this is mainly um a cover thing this is a one in 50 variant and it uh features a home homage of uh secret wars number one and uh what did i want to say about this and if oh okay so ultimate versions of the characters this was before the ultimate um the ultimate universe died off um, but uh, features the ultimate versions of uh, its characters in the iconic, iconic um, uh, Secret Wars number one cover. All right. Okay, it's all good. It is all good. Like I said, a 1 in 50 variant, which is real. And uh, for a 1 in 50 variant, this book is really cheap. I, I know I found cover price copies before. Uh, I, I bought this for $12 shipped. So I'm like, all right, all right, that's a good price. 
And I wanted another copy because I like this book a lot. As, like I said, this book really doesn't go for anything, but it's a good looking cover. All right, what's next? What's next? Iron Fist, The Living Weapon, number three. I uh, got this for $20 shipped. I just like the cover. And uh, I, in the last, I think a couple of the, geez, why am I tongue tied? What's wrong, what's wrong with me? A couple of videos ago, or maybe even last video, I had shown off my copy of um, Iron Fist, The Living Weapon, number one, the Dale Keown variant. And I'm like, you know what? Let's let's complete the set. So I got this one. Uh, there's also a J.G. Jones variant for number two, along with the, the Dale Keown variant for number one. And I don't think there are any more um, high ratio variants for for this uh, for this series. But uh, I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and pick up. Let's pick up all three. How about that? All right, so um, I don't think this book really goes for anything. It's maybe a $25 book, maybe a $50 book if you're lucky. All right, speaking of Iron Fist, uh, I actually got this at the store the other day. Iron Fist number 74. This is the uh, second print Jeff DeKal cover. All right, okay, all right. Uh, this was basically cover price. Uh, this book, I guess this book can't go for 20 maybe. Homies, number one from Dynamite. I believe this is a sec the second series from the one uh, from the one. Yeah, I think this might be a second series because uh, I think because uh, the first series goes for a lot of money. First series number one goes for a lot of money. This one, I don't think. Uh, what year is this from? <laughs> I guess we're gonna open you up. We're gonna open you up to see what's inside. All right, uh, so this is Homies Volume 1, number one from 2016. All right, okay. You know what? I guess I should have looked this shit up before. <laughs> I should have looked this up before uh, shooting the video, but uh, Homies, number one, picked that up for cover price. I think this book goes for. $15, $20 on a good day. Uh, Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur number 12. Uh, I mean, Jesus. No, it's not. This is Monsters Unleashed number 12 featuring Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. And uh, Punisher War Journal number 7. Uh, got this for, I believe, $6. And uh, it's a newsstand featuring... I, we talked about this book the other day on... Um, on the Spec 10. Love this book. Love this cover. I'm very happy to have found a uh, newsstand. And last but not least, Siege. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Siege Storming Asgard. Now, this is the secret variant with uh, female Loki on the cover. Uh, I figure, I don't know, this book really isn't as hot as it was, but for less than cover price, let's go ahead and pick it up. Okay, so that's my haul. I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.